Hello students, in this video we are going to learn about laser based distance measurement using RTL design. In our previous video we saw a case study named as soda dispenser machine. There we have seen certain steps. The step one was to capture the behavior by using the high level state machine. After capturing the behavior by using high level state machine, we converted that by using various steps into a circuit. Means the step one was capturing the finite high level state machine, and the step two was we have to create the data path, and then third was to create a controller, and we have to connect the controller and the data path. And you will be deriving an FSM from your high level state machine for your controller. So, once everything has been completed, your entire circuit will be framed or your processor was completed. So, the same steps will be carried out for the, this case study as well. So, the laser based distance measurements, what does the name indicate? We are going to measure the distance by using a laser. So, we shall move further inside the video. For example, consider a person who is standing and he is having a, an equipment and in that equipment there is a switch or a button. Consider it as a remote, okay? So, when a particular button is being pressed, the laser will be emitted and it is going to the object of interest, for example, consider that I want an object named a TV. Okay, I'm having a remote in hand and that remote is having a button and I am pressing the button and the button is emitting the, making that remote to emit the laser light. So the laser light is emitted and it is going and hitting the object of interest, for example, TV. And I need now, my aim is to find out the distance between myself and the TV, okay? So now it is hitting the object of interest and from that the laser light is being reflected and it is coming back and hitting the remote again. There I'm having a sensor. The sensor will sense that the reflection has been done and the laser light has come back. So at that time, what is the time it has taken for reaching the object of interest and for coming back. That is for sending and for getting it back. So that will be covering the distance of 2D. So from that we will be covering the distance or we'll be finding the distance between the object of interest and the laser emitting object. So consider I'm standing and I'm emitting the laser to a particular object and the object is giving back the signal and based on the distance I'm going to find out what is the amount of distance or the distance between the object of interest and the person who is standing with the remote. Okay, so this is the brief idea regarding it and we shall go further into the video. Okay, so now for this behavior, how am I going to find or construct the RTL design? So what was the thing? We are having a pulse laser. Okay and the time we have to measure to sense the reflection. Consider now that we know that laser is a light and it is traveling at a speed of light which is 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second. So what is the distance D? We know it for come going and for receiving it back I need 2D distance. And what is the distance D? D we know that it is time into the speed. We know that distance is equal to time into speed but what I need? I need just D. Where 2D is equal to the time, with which for one second, how much is the time it is moving. So time T seconds, I'm calling the time as T, okay, into this velocity or the speed of light is 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second. So when I multiply time with the speed, I can get the distance. What distance I will get? I will get the 2D distance, but I need just the distance. I don't want the twice of the distance. So I can find that distance d by distance d is equal to t seconds into t 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second by 2 just make it by half so distance is nothing but the time into the speed of your light that we all know so now based on this how i will be finding first 
now first step is i need to find the high level state machine so for finding the high level state machine first we shall find an processor okay what processor a laser based distance measurer is my processor i'm having a button okay that button is the input which is b input from button to begin the measurement okay i am pressing the button and then what is l once a button is pressed what it will be activated a laser light will be emitted that is given with the signal l so l is a bit output which is activating your activates laser and what i will get back i will be getting back the laser's reflection so laser's reflection has to be sensed by the sensor so that is a bit input s so some from farther distance my s is coming and that is a bit input and based on the s what i have to find i have to find a distance and that will be stored in a register or it is given to d and it is a 16 bit output so now i have found out what are my inputs and outputs that are necessary for making my laser based distance measurer so i need a button b and a laser l from sensor for sensing the signal s and the distance to be measured and that has been displayed by using a 16 bit output register okay so now we are starting to move further for this high level state machines we know the inputs are b and s which are one bits each and the output is l which is a one bit whereas d which is output which is 16 bit that i have mentioned is there any local registers previously in our previous video for a soda dispenser we used the local register of total but as of now we don't know what are the local registers that we are going to use we shall move further and we will see what are the local registers that are at to be added so now we are creating the high level state machine we began by declaring the inputs and outputs so first state is we are creating the initial state and we are naming it as zero yes zero so first thing is initial state is s0 in the initial state i am making my laser to go off that is l is made equal to 0 at that time my register d must be made equal to 0 it must not have any value okay so initially saying my displayed distance to be equal to 0 so in the state 1 which is a first state initial state i am making laser is off and my d has to be go and my d has to go off and then after completing the initialization process i will be moving into the another state so i am adding another state called as s1 this s1 is the state where i am going to press the button so that is waiting whether my button has been pressed or not if a button is pressed what has to happen if my button is not pressed what will happen if button is pressed i will be going into an another new state called s2 if not stay in s1 keep on waiting until your button b is pressed okay till now is it fine we just initialized and we proceeded to the first step and we are waiting for a button to come and the button has come now we are proceeding to the next state which is s2 now in s2 state what has to happen when once a button has been pressed immediately my laser will go on so that is we are adding a new state s2 that turns on the laser l so l became equal to 1 in that time what i have to do immediately it will be moving into the next state but in that next state once a laser has been on you just a laser is emitted and immediately in the next state we are proceeding in that state we must make our laser to go off else what is going to happen again the same light will be processing and the distance for the reflection will take lot of time so once a laser has been on you just turn it off after it proceeds into the new state so turn off the laser in state 3 so in state 3 what i have to do i made my laser off and in that point i am waiting whether my reflection is received or not so i am sensing my reflection so staying s3 until you sense the reflection so in that point you will have to measure once the reflection has come you have to measure the time that is count the cycles for which we are in s3 so to count what i have to do once on the laser is become equal to 0 i need to start counting why the counter must be there and the counter because we need to find the time at which it is traveling so i can use a counter to start or else a timer through which i can calculate the time at which the reflection is coming back okay only then i can multiply with the speed of the time and i can divide by 2 so that i find the distance so to count what i am using i am declaring a local register called as d counter 
okay i am declaring a local register called as d counter that's what in the top i have mentioned the local register that we are using in this example is d counter and this d counter is 16 bit so i have declared a local register and this counter has to be incremented because once the laser goes off i need to start counting okay and i will be waiting for my reflection to come back once the reflection comes i need to stop counting only then i can calculate the distance is it okay so now i am counting i have started to count but before i am counting it i must make my counter equal to 0 in s1 state okay so first initialization state is like laser is off and d is off and in the state 1 i must make my counter also to be equal to 0 and then i have to make my button pressed or not if it is pressed at the laser is emitted that is given with l is equal to 1 immediately i have to make my l is equal to 0 in state 3 once if i reach state 3 my counter will start to increment and the counter is incrementing and then what i have to do i have to wait for my reflection s if it is not coming stay back in the same state s3 if not you have to proceed to the next step called s4 so once the reflection has come we have gone to the next state which is s4 in that s4 we have to calculate our distance okay so the distance is equal to what is the counter value that time divided by d counter divided by 2 that is going to give you a that is your time okay d counter is nothing but it is going to give you the time because counters will be having certain clock signals and the clock signals will be counting 1 2 3 4 5 5 and then that will be multiplied with the speed of the light and then it is divided by 2 okay so the d counter divided by 2 is going to be calculated in the state s4 assuming your clock frequency is 3 into 10 power 8 so d counter has holds the number of meters so d is equal to d counter by 2 so after s4 what we have to do we have to go back to s1 to begin waiting for your button to be pressed again so this is what your high level state machine is all about so what i have done immediately after creating the high level state machine what we want to know we want to create a data path okay so first step has been done v was given with the laser equal to 0 and the register d was initialized to 0 after that we proceeded to the next step uh, or called s1 in that my counter has been made equal to 0 and then i will be proceeding to s2 when the button has been pressed in that point my laser was equal to 1 the laser is emitting immediately will move on to the next state there my laser will be shut off or shut down or it will be off at that point i will start to count or i will use the counter for incrementing my counter once the incrementation start i will be waiting for the sensor of reflection or the sensor to work for the signal to come so once the signal comes i will be moving to s4 in s4 i will be calculating the distance and that value will be stored in the move back to s1 and wait for your button to be pressed again simple now what i have to do i have to find out my data path what are the components that is needed for doing all this operation i need of course a counter good after that i will be in need of a register for storing my d value so what are the two things i need a counter as well as a register for storing a d value now so a counter must work when a clear signal first i will i need to make my counter is equal to 0 so i am having a clear signal so when the signal comes it is done equal to 0 okay and at the same time i want to start counting so for that i have a control signal called as d counters count signal and then what i need for my register i need certain inputs for my register so the register first in s not state i am making my register is equal to 0 which means i need a clear signal okay so d registers clear signal has been given and then what i need i need d, d registers what signal load signal so after that only in last i need to store the value so once the load registers registers load signal has come i will be starting to load the value in the load register or in the d register okay so there are two signals clear and count for my counter and clear and load for my register okay now this is what the data path component is these two components sufficient for doing all the operations no so what is the component that we do need in extra we need a shifter because there is a division operation we know then division we have to shift our data 
such a way that the alignment will be done and we can do the division so a shifter is used that is greater than greater than 1 this is nothing but a register i am i have mentioned it as a register okay so the output of counter will be given to the shifting operation so it is given to the shifter and that particular value will be given to the data register that will be stored so i will be counting it once a count signal come i will be counting it that value has to be shifted so the division has been done that divided value will be stored in my data register once the load signal comes into that register so this is what the creation of your data path is all about so in this video we have seen how to implement the high level state machine and we saw how to create the data path component so in the next video we shall see how to connect this data path with a controller okay so and for deriving my fsm everything will be learnt in the next video so i hope you understood this video thank you